everybody, my name is Bruno Isaac Bear from Your Sign Slab. Welcome to problem number 44 of integrals. That's a pretty miserable looking 44, so let's just write it in the way that a normal person would. Okay, so what is 44 known for? Well, 44, 44 fingers. 44 is a palindrome because if you write it backwards, it's still the same. I know some people with 44 fingers. Why? Okay. 44 is a rep digit. What that means is that it's simply one digit uh, written multiple times. 44 is also part of the Tribonacci sequence. Fibonacci? No, Tribonacci. Instead of Fibonacci being the sum of the last two numbers, Tribonacci is the sum of the last three numbers. There's also Petronacci, but that's just weird. So zero, zero, one, the sum of those is one, the sum of those is two, the sum of those is four, the sum of those is seven, the sum of those are 13, the sum of those, 11 and 13, is, are 24, then the sum of seven plus 13 plus 24 is 44. That's pretty cool, ain't it? All right. So what is 44 anyways? Well, we have the integral of cos x, or rather cos theta as it's written, times e to the sine theta, d theta. How, how are you supposed to say cos or cosine? Okay, so how would we do this? Well, it's pretty obvious that some <laughs> u-subbing needs to go on here you because you can't really uh, integrate this right over here. So what the, what can we do? Well, let's take this part and u sub it. So let's say our u was sine theta. And now you can see how this works out because cosine theta is simply the derivative of sine theta. And we're going to be dividing by the derivative of sine theta. So d theta is equal to du over sine theta will become cosine theta because that's the derivative of sine theta. So now we have cosine theta times e. u is sine theta, so we could write this as e to the u. Then d theta is du over cos theta. So now we simply get e to the u du. And now integrating as if u were the variable, we simply get e u plus c. And now unsubbing, we get e sine theta plus c. That's it. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Shut up and dance with me.